More than a decade in the making. At 1.47 a.m. Eastern Time this morning, NASA's Mega Moon rocket blasted off from Kennedy Space Center. Two, one, boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis 1. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. The historic launch ushering in a new era of American space exploration, kicking off NASA's Artemis program 50 years after the final Apollo moon landing. I want to show you some images because these are the first images of Earth from the deep space capsule Orion, which was carried to space by NASA's space launch system, the SLS, which is now the most powerful rocket ever flown. Earlier this morning at the post-launch briefing, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson grading the Artemis 1 mission so far with an A+. This is just the test flight, and we are stressing it and testing it in ways that we will not do to a rocket that has a human crew on it. Uh, but that's the purpose to make it as safe as possible, as reliable as possible, for when our astronauts crawl on board and go back to the moon. Orion will now spend 25 days traveling around the moon before splashing down in the Pacific Ocean. You can see that complicated flight path right there. With the first astronauts expected to climb aboard in 2024 and then an actual lunar landing come 2025. So many companies are involved in this mission and the Artemis program overall, uh, including Boeing, Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, Aerojet Rocketdyne, Airbus, Lidos. There are so many. Also SpaceX. And as Andrew Channon, CEO of Procure AM, which has the Procure Space ETF notes, what Artemis does is forge a path to establishing a space, uh, safe and tested presence at the moon. Think about a cislunar economy, which is likely to spur more private sector investment as well. For example, commercial space stations, which, guys, we already see being developed for low Earth orbit, as we've seen the commercialization by NASA of low Earth orbit as it focuses on these deep space exploration initiatives, but could potentially be applied to things like cislunar orbit as well. Yeah. Morgan, you mentioned SpaceX. It's worth mentioning as well. Reports of a new funding round raising the valuation there to $150 billion. Um, what exactly is their role here? Uh, so it is my understanding that those reports are actually uh, not accurate. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Elon Musk actually took to Twitter as well to bat down the initial reporting, which was by Bloomberg, uh, calling it, I believe, quote, false on Twitter. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. Uh, but SpaceX, for what it's worth, did just get awarded a second contract, a follow-on contract as part of the Artemis program just yesterday because it is developing its mega rocket and uh, capsule combination called Starship uh, as the lunar lander portion of the Artemis program. So they were just awarded a second contract on that. Uh, and are one of many contractors that are involved in this process and kind of speaks to this evolving commercial space sector as we see more of these types of public-private partnerships take root.